Welcome back to the channel, everybody. I wanted to do a quick video explaining some of the terminology that you see sometimes on the Windows blog. They always say stuff about feature experience packs and they have stuff about builds and they also have stuff about cumulative updates and other terminology. I wanted to break it down real quick and simple so anybody can understand it. So let's take a look. So as you know, today I am talking about some, about three main things that I see in just about every update for Microsoft Windows, especially in the dev channel and pretty much any of the updates as a whole. Um, the three things as you saw is I'm going to talk about what is a build, what is a feature experience pack, and the third thing I'm going to talk about is what is a cumulative update mainly because I see a lot of people ask the question so much about what is this, what is that? And it gets kind of confusing. In fact, it's, it's so confusing that, um, and some people might not think it's that confusing, but it's so confusing sometimes that it took me about 15 minutes to 30 minutes to come up with the perfect worded definition on what each thing is. So getting right into it, basically a, Build is essentially, and this is, there's no direct definition from Microsoft, but in the terms of the Windows Insider program, a build is essentially like a kind of a bulk update that you'll get some new features from, right? It, can, it also includes bug fixes and it includes um, some obviously known issues and things like that. So for example, the other day we got build 21322 and it included a number of bug fixes and features and all that stuff. So you would hit download on Windows Update and you would get that build and it would update your computer to that build 21322 on the dev channel. There's another thing that Microsoft often says in these blog posts when they release new builds of Windows. Um, sometimes they say stuff about cumulative updates as well. And right away, a cumulative update basically in the lamest terms possible, a cumulative update is essentially, say you're fresh installing Windows onto whatever machine you're trying to do. Instead of having to download like 20 builds to get yourself up to date, think of a cumulative update kind of like a service pack where you'll get a whole bunch of builds in one package or maybe two packages and you'll just download that giant cumulative update and it'll update your computer to the most recent thing and you'll be up to date without having to hit download constantly and refresh Windows Update like we used to have to do in the past, like with Windows XP. The third thing here I'm gonna talk about, like I said, was what is a feature experience pack? I see it a lot. I saw it in the recent build guide with 21322 in that something about feature experience packs. Now you would think, you know, don't builds already have features in it? like new features in it. And yes, you'd be right. Builds do have new features in it. But the difference between a build and a feature experience pack is this feature experience pack is far smaller than a build. It doesn't really have any bug fixes at all. All it does is give you a new feature. So if this feature experience pack, uh, if you download a feature experience pack, and I'm trying to get this, and essentially you wanted a feature experience pack for your GoPro right here that I have. Um, Instead of having to get a whole bunch of things, you would just download one thing that would just have that one feature in it. It wouldn't have any bug fixes, it wouldn't have anything else in it. It would just fix, or it would just give you a new feature, and that's it. It's a small update, and that's it. Um, and then, like I said, going back in reverse, if you want to have fresh features, fresh fixes, bug fixes, and stuff like that, maybe new bugs come in, you'll get that build, the new build of Windows, and that will be the next biggest thing. And then you'll have the cumulative update, which is the biggest overall, which includes feature experience packs and builds all in one package. It's the largest file size, whereas builds are smaller and then feature experience packs are even smaller. That is essentially it in a nutshell. It was driving me crazy that I had to talk about this. Um, I even wanted to do a little like illustration, but I got too lazy and it didn't look good. So I just, I'm gonna give you guys this picture that you probably have been seeing for a while now. Um, and that's essentially it in a nutshell. So if you ever see when you update Windows, whether you're on 20H2, 21H1, um, just in some random build, if you ever see that you have, there's a feature experience pack available, just know that that feature experience pack might have a feature that your current build didn't get. And so you'll download that and you'll get that one feature by itself. Let's say news and interests. 
if they wanted to add news and interest to some other build of Windows and it wasn't in it, they could just push news and interest as just the feature experience pack and you'll just get news and interest. You won't get bug fixes, you won't get anything else, and that's about it. And then whereas the cumulative update, you won't even see the cumulative update normally unless you didn't update for a long time and then Microsoft said, let's push out a giant package that has everything from the past, a bunch of builds put together and features put together in one giant package. You'll download it, you don't have to update again. So that's about it. That is those three things in a nutshell. I'm gonna do more of these things um, because there's some there's a lot of terminology that Microsoft uses and it's hard to just understand it because they have a bunch of little things. Um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, give it a thumbs up. We're getting closer to 800. Um, so I'm pushing forward to 1K by the end of April. Let's try to get there. Thank you all and uh, enjoy your day.